Hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really lovely spring yarn bowl. So yarn bowls are made from yarn and glue. What you will need is, is a surface like this, covered in uh, some baking paper <clears throat> or something that is basically non-stick. You will also need a bowl. This is a slightly, this is quite a small one compared to that one. I just thought I'd make different sizes. And um, for this bowl, I'm going to then wrap it in some cellophane, like so. This will stop everything sticking to it forever. So it can stick for it for a bit, but not forever. You will also need some wool or yarn, and you will need. Where should I put this so you can see it? Maybe like that. And you will need. Um, Glue. So I'm going to use, um, this is just a PVA glue, um, which I will water down. Um, you can use any PVA glue, but I have to say it's going to be good quality PVA glue. Um, there's a lot of craft glues out there that aren't very good. And if you don't use a good glue, it's just not going to stick. And then you've gone to all this sort of messy effort and um, you don't have a bowl at the end of it. So I'm just going to put... A whole bunch of it. I've had to cut open the back because my tube got stuck. It seems to always do that for me. Um, so I'm going to put quite a bit of glue in here, as you can see. Let's see, we can always add a bit more at the end if we need to. <clears throat> I'm going to put my. Let's see, and I've got a little stick. Get that out a bit more. Like I say, a good glue makes all the difference. Don't use cheap stuff from places like the Early Learning Centre. I don't like it. So that's the glue. You are going to need a little bit of water. I'm using a warm water for my kettle and that's just sort of to loosen it up a bit because if it's too thick you won't be able to get your um, your yarn sort of kind of like in it. So you want it to be a bit of a sort of soup. Not too runny but certainly not as thick as it came out of the box. Some glues, like you'll get in school, you'll get some really big box bottles of, of glue. Um, those ones are quite runny already, so to be honest, you probably don't have to water that down. But you, you, you know, you can add a little bit of water just to make it go further, but not too much, because you do need it to stick well. So in some ways, less water is definitely better. Right, so I've got my glue ready. And now I need lots and lots of strips of yarn. Now I've cut some out already, but I think I'm going to need more because look, I'm going to rough look and I don't think that's quite enough. I think I need a bit more. So I'm going to put these in here already to sort of start getting soaking up that glue. And then whilst that soaks up, we'll quickly cut out some more of the glue. That's getting really soggy. Right, some more of the yarn. Here's my lovely green because this is my spring bowl. So the quickest way to cut lots of strips of green is to just wrap it around a book like so and then you can cut them all in one go rather than sit there and having to cut lots of pieces. Now you don't, there's no exact size, you don't have to do them exactly 10 centimetres or exactly 20 centimetres, you basically just need strips of wool and um, it doesn't matter exactly how short or how long they are. So I think that's probably going to be enough because we had some ready like so so now i'm going to just take my yarn let's say lift it up and cut it so that gives you quite a lot of strands quite quickly now I use these long ones for that one this is obviously like a slightly smaller bowl so i'm going to just cut it again but again like i said it doesn't really matter it's just a quick way to get um them all into short pieces right now i need to make sure that they're all covered in glue they really need to soak it up okay, this does get sticky this process but that's okay if we don't mind it you might want to have a cloth lying handy for um you know to soak up any excess glue here we go i think that's all really good so lots of glue, sticky yarny glue I think with this craft, more glue rather than less is a good thing, okay? So if you're not sure, add a bit more glue. And then all you have to do is drape it across. So I'm going to do that really quickly and then we're going to make some flowers. The flowers are really easy as well, to be honest. Now the thing about this craft is it does take quite a few days to dry, so you have to be patient. It took us hours, the big one took about three days to dry, I think. Um, so, you know, you do really have to take 
you know, plan ahead if you need this for something. Um, or if you want to use it for something like, you know, Mother's Day or Easter. But, um, you know, it does take a few days. So I'm going to make sure, I think I probably have a bit too much actually, take some off. Went a bit overboard with my enthusiasm, as always. Just sort of neaten it all out a bit. And then make sure that they are nice and neat. So now I'm going to get a bit more glue ready for the flowers and then show you what to do next. So I've just added a tiny bit more glue. You can't see it very well because it's clear glue. And I've done a tiny bit of water in it as well. But to be honest, that this is a lot thicker than the other um the, the other glue I did the first time around. So this time what you need to do is you take your wool, I'm going to make little blue flowers, you wrap it around your fingers like this and then you take it off but hold it and then you get your scissors, snip like so and then you have a good old tuck it into the glue, you want it to get really really gluey and then you just stick it to the side. Now I'm sticking my flowers a little bit sort of towards the bottom because when you turn it round you want them to be sort of higher up and make sure that they are you know literally stuck onto the the greenery as much as everything else so i'm going to do another one so you can see wrap it around your finger and then snip it doesn't matter if it gets unraveled a bit and then just tuck it into the glue make it really gluey and just stick it somewhere basically random to be honest and then I'll do a white one just so you can see and then I will continue to do this and put it aside to dry and that is basically how you do your um, yarn bowl so here's the finished bowl again um, I was still waiting for the other one to dry and I wanted to show this to you and get it online it's so cute and so simple and really really nice to make so um, don't forget to subscribe I do hope you have a go at making this lovely yarn bowl and see you here on Red Ted Art again soon. Bye!